hello everyone i hope all is well wherever you are to my returning subscribers welcome back and thank you for your continued support and for those of you who are watching for the first time welcome to acidos kitchen today i am preparing boneless chicken dama It is not the typical Sudanese dama due to the addition of curry powder which is not a common spice in Sudanese cooking. So you could also call it chicken curry or chicken stew. The ingredients for this dish are chicken breast fillet, canola oil, black pepper, salt, onions, tomato paste, garlic paste, vegetable stock powder, coriander powder, cumin powder, and curry powder. Once I heat the oil, I fry the onions until they are golden brown. I am using a lot of onions because this will make the base of my stew. I like my stew nice and thick. However, too many onions will give your stew a sweet taste so keep that in mind when using onions as the base of the stew. I use tomato paste to balance out the sweet taste that comes from the onions. Once the onions are ready, I add enough water to cover the onions then I cook it covered until the onions are softened and the water has reduced. When this is done, I blend the onions and return it back onto the stove. I blended this using a hand blender in a separate container. This is to avoid ruining the nonstick coating of the pan. I add a tablespoon of garlic paste and two tablespoons of tomato paste into the onions. Then I mix this well to combine before adding the chicken. I now add the boneless chicken pieces which I washed and diced beforehand. Then I add 2 teaspoons of coriander powder, a teaspoon of curry powder, 2 teaspoons of cumin powder, black pepper to taste, 2 tablespoons of vegetable stock powder, mix and cook covered on medium to low heat for 15 minutes. At this stage, I check the seasoning and add salt if needed. Cook this covered for another 5 minutes, then turn the heat off. Please note that I started with 2 tablespoons of vegetable stock powder, so I did not add any more salt as the salt was just right. However, you can add salt as per your taste if required. How do you prepare your boneless chicken dama? I would love to know if you have a different way of preparing this dish. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions to make, kindly write it down in the comments section. And if you would like more of my simple and tasty recipes, Kindly subscribe, share and give this video a thumbs up 
and remember to click on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my new uploads. This is all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and until next time, bye bye.